So now let's see how we can work around with the add stamp tool inside of a PDF document by using Adobe Acrobat Reader. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can go around into comment right here. And then once we go into comment on the top, you can see this icon. Once you click on it, there's different options for stamps. So you can select the stamp which is listed here. So in my case, there's only one. I can click on it and then I can add in the details. Let's say, for example, I can add a name as tube right here. I can add in details as well. And I can select the option to not show that again. Hit complete right here. And there you go. It's uh, approved right here. So this is an applied stamp. And you can go ahead and add in comment onto that as well. That is, attach a comment onto the stamp. Then you can go around over here on the stamp and there are different things like you can show the stamp palette to actually see different kind of stamps. Like you can go to uh, favorite stamps, you can go to dynamic and dynamic is more like like this. So you can see that this is a revised one. So you can go around and then use this one. So you can see that it has stamped out the current date and time right here. You can also go around right here, click and drag it and there's current stamp right there. And you can go around over here, current stamp over there as well. So just like this, you can go around and then click and delete the stamp or you can move it around and you can resize this or you can rotate this around as well. So similarly, you can go around and then there's sign here. So there's like initials here and so forth. You can use the tick mark right here, resize them out, rotate them out as well. And then you have over here, there's standard business like there's complete and so forth for comments and void and so forth. As you can see, you can bring in all the details as per what you need. So you can just close this around and you can expand the stamp right here. And there's other option that you can uh, access. So you can go to stamp palette or you can go over here, access the same thing. So you can go around over here and to receive, go around and then click on it. And the stamp has been added. So if I were to go over here onto stamp, there's like sign here, standard business, everything right here. And what you can also do is you can add in current stamp to favorite. Let's say, for example, you use this stamp quite often. Then what you can do is you can go to stamp and click on add stamp to favorites. And then here you can see that this is the favorite right here. And you can simply go up over here anytime you want to use it and then uh, click over here to add in the stamp. You can go around into the stamp option and here you can see that you can remove the current stamp from favorites as well. And what that does is it removes that stamp out. You can also show the stamp names and then what that does is that it shows the names only right here and it does not actually show up the graphical representation, which I uh, find uh, to be um, um, a bit unhelpful. So I'm just going to go around enable that. So but if I were to see the uh, graphics itself, I, I believe that it is much more helpful right here. And that is how you can use out the stamp tool to add in stamps onto your PDF documents and associate comments with it. So if I were to right click over here, I can go to properties as well to go around and change a few settings. So I can go around with the opacity right here, but the color itself does not actually change much right here. That is because the stamp already has a pre-color right here. So if I were to go to general and review history, I can view more details as well. And I can make properties default right here to work around with it. So opacity level in this case is actually set to default. So that is how you can use the add, add stamp tool inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.